Well, howdy, Internet people. Oh, I'm geeking out again. Masks are helpful. And these damn things actually work right in there. Probably it's right for your damn face. And I'm not doing this because of the COVID situation outside. I'm doing this because there's a construction crew outside doing some work on the street. Putting up a hell of a lot of dust, so I gotta start geeking out with a damn mask and making sure these things fit right. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Vietnam. Got it through the mail. Because I'm a net, not a member of med, uh, medical insurance. What the hell? But it does work. To a point. By standard. So I gotta get washed and throw it Get some bleach on this damn thing. But I prefer this one because I can tie the damn thing and it's comfortable enough. Of course, if we want to go Disney, you know, these damn things are supposed to be made in the United States. You know, this one's made in Honduras. Go figure. The one for Etna, say where the hell where it was made. But this is made in Honduras. It's supposed to wear something like this. It's kind of hard when I wear glasses with these damn things because pops off my damn ears. My ears are not as hardened like others. So I have to look cutesy. Don't I look so cute? Give me a freaking break. I like Disney to a point. Star tricking across the universe. Whatever the hell that damn song goes on YouTube. Yes, we must be tricky. I order you to be a tricky. Wondering why I'm doing the damn fashion show at this point over here. I was to tell you what kind of damn masks I've got. What I've been collecting these days. Oh, my standard. So I love this one. Because it was my first tie on, and I like this one because. It fits right over that damn face, and I can actually wear this damn thing. However, I know there's some kind of extend plastic extenders that would go out and uh, not drive people crazy as much. Except you have a piece of plastic right in front of your face trying to extend the mask. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm showing you all this damn crap. Because all this damn crap is... The current industry. I'm getting another one that says uh, something about the World Series. I've gotten a box of disposables. Now, why, you ask me, do I do this to myself? For what possible reason should I put myself through this kind of mess? Well, quite honestly and quite frankly, you need to. I need to. And the thing of it is, if I don't do this kind of stuff, I know I'm going to be getting someone else's damn germs, and I'm really screwed, one way or another. So, I have to wear masks. I'm not exactly liking them, so it's dumb stuff I still have to go through. Now, I know a lot of people don't like this stuff. They don't. They really don't. Because they feel like it's an invasion of privacy. They've been saying that all along. That's a nation of our civil rights and everything else going on these days. Mm -hmm. Well, I got something to tell you folks. <laughs> You're full of shit. You're full of shit. I'll say it again. You're still full of shit. These masks are not an invasion of civil rights and an invasion of your damn privacy. This is for health concerns. Mainly put, you want your people to die you want your family to die. If you want family and friends and other strangers to die, then don't wear the damn mask. Pass around the damn germ. Think yourself you're going to get immune uh, protection from the damn thing. 
And quite frankly, I think they're all freaking delusional. I'm putting it bluntly at this point, boys and girls. I know there's a big business going on with these masks because they're supposed to be saving our asses left and right. Imagine how much processing we're, get, we're trying to do at this point over here, getting another industry build up at this point over here. We're losing jobs left and right. And we blame the politicians. But I'm blaming the people. I'm blaming you. I'm blaming you. You were not the ones saving the economy. You guys just helped kill the damn economy by not wearing a damn mask when we're telling you to. But you don't like to be told. No. This goes against our freedom, our civil rights. We just don't like it. You know what? I gotta be flying hot at this point over here because this saves lives. If you guys ever fucking studied history at this point over here, you would have known about the damn pandemic that we had over a century ago. The Spanish flu. Does anybody ever read about this kind of crap going on these days? People didn't have all the technology and the medical science we've got right now. They depended upon whatever they had limit, limited resources and mask wearing all the freaking time. You think it was easy back then? They had social distancing left and right, and they couldn't even deal with it. They were dealing with an influence, influenza during that time that was pretty much virulent. But what you guys keep forgetting it says COVID-19 is not a freaking flu bug. It may be similar, but it isn't. It's got too many damn characteristics of a damn nastier virus than you've ever dealt with, than anybody else has dealt with. We don't know where the hell this son of a bitch got created. People kept saying, well, it got created in China in a lab. Well, where's your fucking proof? Just because they had the first recorded so far in the history of a major outbreak. This damn thing had to come from somewhere. It just doesn't pop up in a damn meat market. When you're in a meat market, you're getting meat from somewhere, right? It means an animal got it from somewhere, correct? Which means an animal got into a, an infected area. Maybe where the virus was mutating or mutagen or whatever the hell it was. In some kind of swampy area or whatever. The water source. Somehow or another... The animal wasn't able to survive, or maybe not many animals survived. I don't know. I don't know where the damn thing came from. All I know is they generate, it got generated in a market out in Wuhan area in China. But all viruses come from places that you never know of. Valley Fever, 1994 earthquake, Northridge. Does anybody ever remember this shit? We had valley fever hit, hitting us for months. The bacteria that lived in the ground out there, sorry. I got my own bacteria growing. The bacteria that was growing in the ground got disturbed, threw up in the air. Nobody knew about this damn strain ever because it was so far buried in the damn ground until we had a, a geologic upheaval. Grounds started shifting like crazy. And the virus found itself floating in with the dust. And what happens? We get valley fever. They're still suffering through it to this day. We're trying to get we got we're trying to get immunizations going on like crazy at having one. I don't know if they've ever solved the issue or not, but I know it came from the ground. It wasn't genetic and it wasn't coming from the damn laboratory or anything. It just came up from the ground. It lived in there. It thrived in there. And then we all had violent valley fever right after right after the earthquake. Some of us didn't exactly make it. We had a death toll going on. But at least we didn't have a pandemic. We just had an epidemic. And it spread. And spread wide. But not worldwide. Just wide enough. SoCal was dealing with that damn shit. Because we had a major earthquake hit the area or rocked the area like crazy. Even they felt it in Las Vegas. Felt it in Mexico. They felt it probably up in San Francisco area where that kind of magnitude they actually had going on. And it was nasty during that time. Besides trying to fight for survival because everything else was crushed and everything else was 
throwing hell in a handbasket during that time. I know because I was living through that damn night. But we had to deal with an epidemic. And nobody knew how to deal with it. Hospitals were overrun because people were injured left and right. And then they had to be crawling in there because they were sick. Because of an unknown flu. Uh, an unknown virus. See, we don't know where the hell the damn COVID-19 grew up from. We don't know if it grew up from the ground, or we don't know where it grew up in a swamp or a water hole or whatever. But it mutated, and we've got it. And we have to wear these masks to make sure we're not going to spread it to somebody else at this point over here. We don't even know if we've got the damn thing or not. That's the horrible thing about this damn virus. I mean, what's it make a beachhead in your damn body? It'll make a stink, but it'll take a few days, up to several days, possibly. In about two weeks, you should know if you've got the damn virus or not, or if you're going to be dead or not. People fight for their lives because of this shit. The immune, system, the immune systems, if they're compromised, this is not for just one person. This is for everybody. So please... Think about the community. Think about your own damn family and your friends at this point over here. Think about your life in danger. You want to be protected by this damn thing? Wear the fucking mask. You want to protect your family and your friends? Wear the fucking mask. I don't care if you want your civil rights or not. The bug don't care about your damn rights. The bugs don't care about your freedom and your liberty. If you're a spreader at this point over here, you're just as dumb as everybody else who don't wear the mask. And they're trying to stay the hell away from the damn shit. You start killing people without you realizing it. Then how are you going to live with yourself, and especially when you see your family and friends dying around you because you were an asshole enough not to wear a damn mask? It's not for your own damn protection. It's for theirs. And you don't know who's got immune deficiency anywhere, or for anybody for that matter. You don't know. Are you willing to take that chance? Are you willing to take that risk? Wear the fucking mask.